Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you some stuff I bought at a local toy store. Sometimes I look around for other stuff than Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. Take these three jeeps for example. They are made by a cheap Chinese brand which is unknown. And that gave me an idea. Maybe I can create this Jeep FC, which is very cool. And I know Matchbox and Hot Wheels doesn't have this casting, only Corgi. I also looked at this 57 Chevy, and I know Hot Wheels updated this casting with other interior than it used to have. This time the interior is not one piece with the window and I thought maybe I can use the 57 Chevy body for this project because the 57 Chevy has no door lines therefore I can use that body as something I can work on. I did a little bit of thinking and the only part I need from this jeep is this front grille. I'm going to cut it off and use it as a front panel for this uh, Chevy's body. It will look same as this one. So let's get started. I've taken off the paint and now I'm going to cut the grille from this jeep. I'm using my jeweler's saw to cut the exact uh, section from this Chevy's body. I'm going to use only the cabin, so I'm cutting off the back end and also the front. Going back to the grill, I have to block two channels out of nine because the Jeep FC has only seven channels. You can clearly see that in regular Jeeps, the height of the channels are at the same level as the headlights and on the Jeep FC, they are about halfway in height. Therefore, I'm blocking the channels in line with the headlights. What I'm doing right now is that I'm narrowing the pillars of the 57 Chevy a little bit because on the Jeep FC there are narrow pillars. From this office clip I'm going to create the shape that the uh, Jeep FC is all known about. It is a very distinctive shape that the Jeep FC has at the front. 
so it is very important to fabricate it correctly. I was asked by one of my subscribers why do I use metal over styrene or plastic? Well for me it seems like a natural choice. What else can you use when you're customizing a vehicle that is so tiny and made of metal other than metal? Another point you can think about that when you are using metal then mistakes that happen can be fixed easily. Using a Dremel over styrene can ruin the piece you've created and then you have to start all over again. When I'm using a Dremel over metal then it is more natural for this violent tool which spins very fast in very fast RPM and the mistake I can do is only scratching the metal a little bit and then I can fill it up with epoxy and that is that. With that being said I have to admit I never tried anything else other than epoxy and metal so if one of you subscribers want to tell me something or suggest anything please write at the comment section down below i'm reading all the comments that you write for me Okay, now moving back to our Jeep's body, you see it is starting to get the right shape. Now I will have to wait a few hours until the epoxy glue will cure to the point that I will be able to shape it using sandpaper and also my Dremel. Here is a look of the car's inside section and now I'm going to create some wheel arches for this Jeep FC. Okay, so now after all the glue has dried off, it is time to grind it using my Dremel. The reason I'm showing you my face right now is to remind you guys to always use a protective gear whenever you're using a Dremel because you don't want the, the debris of dust to get into your lungs and also using glasses will ensure that nothing will get into your eye
I'm using my Dremel again to carve some door lines at each side of this Jeep FC's body. Now it is time for a little bit of testing to see the overall shape of the car. I'm using this bed I've made from a metal sheet at the back. If you want to know how it was made, you can scroll down my page. And I have a complete video of same styled car that I've made with flat bed at the back. I'm using a mosquito net in order to create a mesh for the back window you see here and right after that I'm going to add those roll bars at the back. The final piece I'm going to add to my Jeep FC is this base that I'm going to take from this truck. So right before I will show you my creation, here is this Kogi once again, which its price is skyrocketing these days, and you can find it only on eBay I guess. So here's mine, it's kind of a crawler type racing truck and it was painted with some matte enamel color, the back section was painted in matte black and I've used some off-road wheels in order to lift it up. I have to admit this one was a very fun project, mainly because it involved so much parts that needed to be fabricated. Another thing is that I tried to compress this video to like 15 minute video but it took me so much more time to create this car. 
but as much as fun as I did with this car it is more fun to share it with you guys so let me know at the comment section down below what do you think about it and if you have any suggestion for my next project which will probably be in a few days thanks for watching take care and I will see you at my next video bye bye